Climate protesters in Germany marched through the streets on Friday, and more demonstrations are expected around the world this weekend. There are more than 500 global gatherings planned, from Pakistan and Nigeria to the United States. In a year of record-breaking floods, wildfires, and droughts, their aim is to get governments to immediately end subsidies for oil and gas and to cancel any plans for expanding production. This protester says she traveled over 300 miles to be in Berlin for the protest. I believe that the economy, the way it currently functions, must be changed in order to create the possibility that a real change can also take place in regard to the environment, and that it is a social policy that takes care that people can still survive, because the direct consequence of environmental destruction is that people die in this world, and that's just not possible. In London, business leaders held a queue for climate on the Millennium Bridge. Their demand? Government accountability and its climate commitments. Chris Turner is the director of nonprofit organization B Lab UK. If government isn't going to listen to a group of business leaders who are prepared to come out and queue, in, admittedly in the sunshine, then I think, I think we're going to have to ask serious questions about whether this government is serious about achieving its goals. In Paris, the Fridays for Future movement, launched in 2018 by Swedish climate activist Greta Thunberg, made its return. Organizers took aim against Total Energy's proposed East African crude oil pipeline project. The stunt remained nonviolent and ended without police intervention. Thunberg was at a protest in Stockholm on Friday, where she was charged for disobeying a police order less than two months after she was convicted and fined for the same offense. The UN's COP28 climate summit is set to take place in two months. That's when more than 80 countries plan to push for a global agreement to gradually phase out coal, oil and gas. The burning of fossil fuels is the main cause of climate change. Governments reliant on oil and gas revenues and those planning to use fossil fuel-based energy to improve poor communities' living standards are expected to push back on their proposal.